Hey, great morning, you guys. Great morning. Today is going to be an amazing day in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank God for who he is and what he's doing in our amazing lives today, guys. Today is Thursday, guys. I always almost to Friday. So we thank God for this message today. Today I want to talk about find ways to be generous. Find ways to be generous. Let's go to the throne of grace, guys, and we're going to get right into it. So, Father God, we come to your throne of grace. Thank you just for your grace, your mercy, God, your salvation, God. Thank you just for being a big God. You are so worthy of all our praise, God. We thank you in advance for all the things that you are going to do, all the things that you have already done in our lives, God. Forgive us for our sin, both known and unknown sins, God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for your Holy Spirit right now. Increase like never before, God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for our leaders, God. Continue to increase in them, God. Strengthen them spiritually, physically, and mentally, God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, just for being who you are. Thank you for your word today, God. Thank you for allowing us, Father God, and remember, allow us to show us how to remember to be generous, Father God, even if we're giving our time of anything that we have, God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for sharing with us, Father God, the things, Father God, that we need to share with people, God. So allow us to do so at all times, God. Think about others more than ourselves, God. We know sometimes that can seem crazy, Father God, but we thank you, Lord Jesus, that nothing belongs to us, Father God. Everything belongs to you, God. So allow us, Father God, to share with the world, share with the others that are in need, Father God, to be able to glorify and honor you, God, and bring people closer to you, God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for a great day. It shall be in your mighty name, God. You're the great I am. You're Jehovah Jireh. You're the beginning and the end. You're the first and the last, God. We thank you for our families, God. Continue increasing our all families, God. We thank you for all the sons, our spouses, our children, God. We pray for them right now, God. Protect them, Father God, and, and all of us as we go out, Father God, through our day, Father God, around others, around brothers and sisters in Christ, Father God. Allow us still, Father God, to uh, be able to share your good news, Father God, and share your love, God, throughout the world. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything, God. Trials and tribulations will come to make us strong, God. Continue to mold us into who you want us to be. This is our pretty young son. Jesus' name I do pray, and it is so. Amen. Sit down. Turn the light off. Turn it off. Who told you to turn it off? Turn the light off first. Turn it off. Turn it off. Down. Out. Now sit down. Sorry about you guys. Sit down. Down. Down, lady. Sit down. All right, guys. Today I talked about on rainy days, you guys. And so we have to find ways to be generous, even in the rainy, throughout rainy days, okay? A generous person will prosper, it says. Generous person will prosper. Whoever refreshes other will be refreshed. Proverbs 11 and 25. Make sure you guys read Proverbs 11, 23 through 26. Okay, today I talked about when small businesses businesses in Tennessee were abruptly um, shut up in an attempt to stop the spread of COVID-19. Shop owners worry about how to care for their employers, employees, how to pay rent, and how to simply survive the crisis. In response to their concerns, the pastor of a church near Nashville started an initiative to supply cash to struggling business owners. Man, I was thinking about, man, if I would have still had my uh, bed studio during the crisis, man, I was like, man, I probably would be all in, all kind of dead. But thank God I was able to, you know, do my TLEs and stuff and get out of there and come out with a clean slate. It says, we don't like, uh, we don't feel like we can sit on a rainy day fun when somebody else is going through a rainy day. The pastor explained, and he encouraged other churches in the area to join the effort. It says a rainy day fund is money that's put aside in a case in case normal income is decreased for a time while regular um, operations need to continue. How many of you guys have an emergency fund or whatever the case may be? And will you help somebody else in the in the time of need if you don't if you're not going through a rainy day? Will you just let that money just build up? So think about that in this particular. I know we have to save man and and. and you know, powerful hard times, man, but we still have to be generous because nothing belongs to us. Anything can be taken away from us. Just think about, you have a lot of money in your bank and something happens to you. Where that money going to, it's nothing, it's not going to be nothing, not going to be no kind of help for you, you feel me? This is why it's natural for us to look out for ourselves first. Scripture encourages us to always look beyond our own needs. To find ways to serve others 
and to practice generosity. So there are more ways than just giving and um, monetarily. You can give your time, um, your uh, just help somebody in, in need. Go help somebody move. Anything, man, that you can think of to be generous. It says Proverbs 11 reminds us one person gives freely yet gains even more. A generous person will prosper and whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. Also, is the sun shining extra bright in your light today? It says look around to see if there's torrential uh, rain in someone else's life. Um, world. The blessings God has graciously given you are multiplied when you freely share them with others. Man, there's nothing like being able to share millions of dollars or share a lot of money with your family and loved ones. Because, man, it could be the thing about you making all this money and you just, you know, enjoying it just alone. Yes, that's not really fun, man. It's not really fun. So we have to learn to share with others, man. Uh, and then trust me, don't. You know, if you got millions of dollars, stuff, you should, should wouldn't help to, uh, wouldn't harm you to share with others. And I know sometimes you might be like, uh, man, I'm not finna, uh, I want to get in the same, be back in the same place I was. Let me tell you something. You, when you bless somebody else, God will bless you even more. He will uh, create ways and find ways to get. Like my pastor, I found out they was um. And they had said they was tearing up their mail and doctor bills and couldn't find out they had like a $3,000 check in their uh, envelope. And I was like, man, that's the same thing that happened to me. I'm going through that right now. Like, because I had a check and I didn't um, cash it. So, you know, they have to reissue the check because it's the past the, the days that I posted cash it. But yeah, so uh, we have to think about those things, man. That's why. Uh, when you bless and others, man, God will find ways to bless you. You pay your tithes and offering, and give more than you, that you than you normally have, man. God will open doors and and pour out a blessing in your life. Um, it says, being generous and open-handed is a wonderful way to give hope to others and to remind hurting people that God loves them. So when has someone been open-minded with their time or resources with you? I mean, I know a lot of people have, you know. Uh, lending a helping hand, especially with short films and things I've been doing, you know, and without, you know, asking for pay or anything, they have just get, gave their time, and I really appreciate it. That's why I try to give all I can to others, man, because you never know who you might need. It says, how could you do the same for someone in need today? So think about that right now as we go to the throne of grace to close out, okay? Let's pray together. Our gracious God, we thank you for providing for our needs and giving us the means to care for each other. Help us to be sensitive to the needs of others and show us how we can share your love and generosity with them. Mm -hmm. Give us opportunities to give freely to others who are in need. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, you guys. All right, guys. I love y'all. God loves you. We're all you guys to have a fantastic day in the mighty name of Jesus. If you need me, I got you. you. Remember to learn how to be generous, man. Find ways to be generous to others. All right? God bless you all. Enjoy your day.